Hey all, it's me Preeti. Yeah, moving on. I have made several videos on arrays that is how to find the biggest element, how to find the smallest element, how to find the second largest element. Arrange the elements of an array in ascending order and arrange the elements of an array in descending order, right? And today and now I want to discuss find the sum and average of an elements of an array present, right? Uh, that is find the average and sum of a given array. Now, uh, this is a very simple program. Uh, whatever program you need to implement, you should have a bit of mathematical knowledge because a program can be implemented if you have a good mathematical knowledge as well. So, if they're asking you to find the sum, what does that mean? Add all the elements which are present in an array and print on the console the total sum which has been present and they're asking you to display the average as well now how to find the average average is the sum of all the elements present divided by the length right so uh, these are the formulas which are uh, which should be implemented in the coding format so before implementing any any code or any logic you should think it in a mathematical way so which formula should i use for this so if i use this formula what what should what should be the variable what should be the data type of a variable how will i store the value into that particular variable how will i send how will i perform the operations and finally pass the result into a variable so you must think these many ways are to implement a logic imagine you want to um, you want to perform an addition operation to uh, to do addition operation you need three variables first a again b and again c a you a contains a value of 2 and b contains a value of 3 a plus b is 5 and c should contain the result c is equals to a plus b right so c is the resultant variable which contains the value of a sum a plus b are the input variables so this is how we are supposed to think and uh, today i'm gonna teach you how to find the average and sum of uh, some of the elements which are present in an array so you can already see it on the screen but then i don't want to make it a mess just by putting on some code and just telling you people see this is the logic this is how you implement no i want to code each and every one every line and want to show you what happens so i'm gonna just take this everything off now right okay i'm just taking this all out now this is a variable i mean sorry this is an array which has been uh, declared and initialized it contains a value now well, you are supposed to find the sum of an array if you want to find the sum of an array you are supposed to iterate an array that is you are supposed to traverse an array how do you traverse an array for loop right for int i is equals to zero i less than a dot length and i plus plus when you traverse each time you get an individual element so what you're supposed to do just in declare a variable int sum is equals to zero okay and you are storing the result into a variable sum a of i now what happens here when index position i is equals to zero the first element will come into the picture and it will get stored into sum again when i increments to one another one will come it gets stored again to sum it will be two again when index of position increases to two it goes to the two and uh, two plus two will be four again when i increments to three the value goes to three again three plus the previous value will get added sum plus is equals to a of i is nothing but sum is equals to sum plus a of i that is sum is equals to sum plus a of i you can also write it this way or you can write it this way as well but uh, people prefer writing it this way uh, it is a bit simpler when compared to that one right so sum is equal sum plus is equals to a of i so this is how you find the sum but people you are supposed to print this sum outside the for loop now why do, why are we supposed to print outside the for loop we are supposed to print it outside the for loop because you don't want this value to get printed each time when the loop iterates. Every time the loop iterates, the system dot out dot print element, the print statement will be printed on the console. So if you don't want that to print um, that many times, you want the result to be printed only once, then you can you should actually print it outside the for loop. So I'll just save it and I'll run. 
right? So when you will run, the sum will be 28. So this is actual result. But what happens when you print this inside the for loop? You might be having this doubt that why is she asking us to print outside the for loop, right? So print, this is what happens. It prints this many times. So there are totally how many elements? Three, three, six, seven, eight, eight elements. So eight times the print statement will be printed on the console. Each time the value being added to sum will be printed. Initially it will be one. Again, when the loop iterates for the second time, it will be two. Again, when the loop iterates for the third time, the value will be four. So when the loop iterates for the last time, the value will be 28. That is the result. That is the sum. So I hope you understood the disadvantage. I'll just print it out. Yes. So now you got the answer for, su for sum. That is sum of an array elements. But how to find the average? So average is the sum of the elements divided by length of the total length of that array. Right. So I'll, I'll just take a length. In I'll just declare a length. And length is equals to a dot length right so a dot length this is an inbuilt function when you give a dot length it stores the complete length of an array into a variable length now if you want to find the average you are supposed to store it in a variable right so i'll just give average is equals to zero and I'll print it. I mean, I'll just perform an operation. A V E R A G E is equals to uh, sum divided by length. G T H right, and print the average as well. A V E R A G E. People just give a control space you will get it whatever you have declared as a variable and if you want some statements to be the sum of the given array is hmm? and give plus again the average of the given array is save and run yes this is how it looks so uh, i hope you people understood how to find the sum of an array and also the average so if you have any doubts please do let me know thank you